The cell is the basic unit of life. There are lots of different types of cells. Each type of cell is different and performs a different function. In the human body, there are 200 different types of cells. Nerve cells, which can be as long as from our feet to our spinal cord, help to transport messages around the body. Most cells cannot be seen with the naked eye. Nerve cells range from 4 micrometers to 100 micrometers. A micron, or a micrometer, is one millionth of a meter, so a cell that's 100 microns would be the size of a period at the end of a sentence. The ovum, or egg cell, is the name for the female reproductive cell. It is made and released by a female's ovaries. The ovum is rather large compared to the male reproductive cell, and it is immotile, meaning it does not move. The sperm is the male reproductive cell and is derived from the Greek word sperma, meaning seed. The mammalian sperm cell consists of a head, a midpiece, and a tail. The tail or flagellum allows the sperm cell to move rapidly. These cells are much smaller compared to egg cells. The head is 5 micrometers, while the remaining portion is 50 micrometers. There are more than 600 muscles in your body, and these muscles are made up of muscle cells. They do everything from pumping blood throughout your body to helping you lift your heavy backpack. You control some of your muscles, while others, like your heart, do their jobs without you thinking about them at all. Smooth muscles, sometimes called involuntary muscles, are made up of smooth muscle cells. They're usually in sheets or layers with one layer of muscle behind the other. Smooth muscles are at work all over your body. In your stomach and digestive system, they contract and relax to allow food to make its journey down through the body. These cells range in size from 20 to 500 micrometers. The muscle that makes up the heart is called the cardiac muscle and is made up of cardiac muscle cells. The thick muscles of the heart contract to pump blood out and then relax to let blood back in after it has circulated through the body. Just like smooth muscle, cardiac muscle works all by itself with no help from you, hence it's involuntary. And these cells can be 100 micrometers long. Red blood cells have the important job of carrying oxygen. These cells which float in your blood begin their journey in the lungs where they pick up oxygen from the air you breathe. Then they travel to the heart which pumps out the blood delivering oxygen to all parts of your body. Red blood cells are quite small ranging from 6 to 8 micrometers. There are also other types of cells that exist such as plant cells which can range from 10 to 100 micrometers. Some organisms, such as humans, are made up of trillions of cells, while others are made up of a single cell, such as bacterium. Bacterial cells are relatively small compared to other cells. They're about 2 micrometers long. It's interesting to know that humans actually carry more bacterial cells than human cells. Throughout most of human history, scientists knew very little about life and how it works. A scientist by the name of Robert Hooke invented the compound microscope. In 1665, he discovered the existence of cells. While using the newly invented compound microscope to look at a thin slice of cork, Robert Hooke saw tiny room-like structures that he named cells. Today, scientists have developed what we call the cell theory. This theory states the following. All living things are made up of cells. Cells are the basic units of structure and function in living things, and Living cells come only from other living cells. Thank you for tuning in to Biology Made Simple. Please tune in for more videos.